So my pal, today I'm going to show you how to make these deco screen cards. These are by Hunky Dory and they are self-standing. Just a quick disclaimer that I am not affiliated or paid by Hunky Dory at all for this. These are actually a pack that I bought to make my own Christmas cards from. I will link the website that I bought mine from down below because I got this pack of Art Deco screen cards for $4.99 and they say you can make at least four cards from them which you do get four of the main screen cards themselves but then you get a lot of extras that you can make additional cards from and these are just some of the ones so this is from just one sheet these are the sheet that I'm going to work on for this card and instead of using it as a Christmas card because this is the festive deco set I'm actually making this as an anniversary card for my mum and dad but as you see you get lots of different punches and you also get the instructions for the different cards. So the two packs I got was this octagonal one and the deco screen card, which I'm making today. So what I did first is just layer this top up using some foam pads. As you can see, there's a slight layer there. And then I added some foam pads to the back of that. And then the larger piece is actually the card body itself with its design. So I'm just peeling off the backing of the foam pads here and then I'm going to line it up with the main picture and that will raise up the design as well. And it is important when you're making these cards to line them up the best you can. Just thought I'd turn it around so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. So I'm just lining the decoupage up with the actual design which is a little tricky when you do an upside down so do try and do this whilst it's facing you and then once you've got it in the right place you can just press it down to secure it and don't press it down too early because you might want to just reposition it like I'm doing here because I wasn't quite happy with the positioning at first I forgot to show you earlier that with this card that you just need to bend these side pieces um, they're already scored to make it easy for you, but you just need to bend them, which helps them stand on their own. just need that to do ing on both sides. Sorry, I can't speak tonight. And then I find it easier to lay it a bit flat again. And then this is the frame that comes with it. This is the inside of the frame that I've just popped out that I'll be using, probably for scrapbooking or maybe on another card. So you just need to fold the scored lines again. And then what you're going to do is lay that on top of the picture just like this. And that it will be the finished design really. So here I've just put some foam pads cut in half just because I needed them to be really small. And foam pads, the ones I'm using are this big and I just, as I said, just cut them in half. And then for the back you get this little stand that comes in the kit and I've just put some double sided tape on each side and then I'm going to line it up to be in the centre back of the card. And then the mechanism, if you can call it that, just works like that so it helps support the card stand up. And I like to add a handmade by sticker so I've just placed it on the side and just put it here. I bought mine from eBay. And I just thought I would show you what's left over from the four packs once I've made the main cards. So I've got four toppers and eight greetings left over. And these are all the finished deco screen cards from the kit that I've made. Some of them will be Christmas cards and one, as I said, will be an anniversary card. I haven't added the greetings yet because I haven't decided who I'm giving them to bar the anniversary card. But this is what they look like from behind. So I would certainly recommend this pack of cards. I will link the website, as I said, below. So I do hope you give these a go if you like Art Deco. They are really beautiful cards, I think. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.